hello guys my name is brianna welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to make three basic crochet stitches they're beginner friendly and um they are mostly using most most projects so i'll be starting with the single crochet i'm using the winter king for ply yarn it's a beige in color so we start by making a slip knot and creating a foundation chain so we're going to make 15 chains yarn over pull through that yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through that's our fun at the beginning of our foundation chain we're going to continue that till we have 15 chains So we have our 15 chains and we're going to start the second row with our single crochet. Skip the first chain from the loop and start with from the second one. We're going to yarn over and pull through the two loops. Now with a single crochet we only have two loops. Yarn over and pull through the two loops. Yarn over pull through the two loops yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so we are going to continue with that till the end of the row yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two And we have our last one right there. Yeah. So that's the end of the first row of single crochet. We are going to um, chain one and turn our work. You chain one and you turn your work. Now, on this, the second row, we are going to start the first stitch. That was a mistake. <laughs> I should have edited that. We're going to start the first stitch, go into that, yarn over, and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. We are going to continue with that uh, for about 10 rows and then come back and see. Yeah, so now we have 10 rows. I'm on the 10th one. And you can see how neat that square is coming out. Just continue with the same trend. You yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. To the end of the row. This is very much beginner friendly. It's easy and you can use this for lots of projects, especially when you don't want your projects to be um, see through. Yeah, see how neat it is. You can barely see through the stitches. So we have our square of single crochet, total of 10 lines. Neat. The edges are still raw, but yeah so on to the second one <laughs> we're going to do a half double crochet half double crochet we make our slip knot right there move on to our foundation chain now we're going to do 15 chains 
just like the previous one 15 chains you also just yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through till you have 15 chains So we are going to start from the second chain you're going to yarn over pull through that you have three loops and you're going to pull through all the three loops yarn over to the second one and pull through the three loops yarn over into that and pull through all the three loops now this is a half double crochet we pull through three loops with the single crochet you are doing two loops yarn over pull through that and pull through three loops three loops now you'll notice that this one is a bit wider than the single crochet because of the number of loops And of course, the uh, the spaces between the stitches are going to be wider than the other one. So yarn over, pull through all the three loops. Yarn over and pull through three loops. Yes, and we are approaching the end of the line. Yarn over, pull through that, and pull through three loops. So yeah, um, we are at the end of the row. Now with the half double crochet, see how beautiful that first line is. Now with the half double crochet, we are going to do two chains before we go to the next row. Remember with the single crochet, we only did one chain, but with the half double crochet, we're doing two so two chains and then turn your work we're going to start with the very first stitch yarn over and pull to pull through three loops yarn over pull through three yarn over and pull through three loops yarn over pull through three loops now this one is very easy when you're not speeding up because uh, pulling through three loops can be um, a little messy than two. So yarn over and pull through three, yarn over, pull through three, yeah. We are pushing the end of the second row and it's coming out neatly so that's the last is that now that's the second last stitch now the very last stitch of the row and you're going to um you see that you may think that you're at the end but when you see that bulging out there you make sure that you go through that stitch and pull through all the three loops chain two and turn your work so we're going to do this and come back when i have a total of 10 rows yeah so i'm on the 10th one look how nicely that square is so neat you can see how visible the spaces between are compared to the other um stitch but yeah so nicely i mean apart from the raw edges we have a square of half double crochet we're going to move on to the third stitch which is the double crochet now the previous one was the half double crochet but now this one is a double crochet you're going to make a slip knot and chain 15 just like the previous two Make a foundation of 15 chains. Yarn over, pull 
through it's easier that yarn over and pull through so now we have a total of 15 chains i added one more chain there because you're going to skip the first chain and start from the second one yeah start from the second one so you're going to yarn over pull through the second and then pull through the first two chains the remaining with two and then pull through the other two yarn over you have pulled through two loops and then pull through the rest now for the double crochet we are pulling through four loops um, yarn over pull through two pull through the rest yarn over pull through that and then pull through the rest so when you yarn over you have three loops on your hook you're going to pull through the first two and then the other two you'll notice that the double crochet stitch is a bit wider than the half double crochet and so we're going to continue with the same pattern yarn over pull through the first two pull through the other yarn over pull through the first two pull through the other two yarn over pull through the first two pull through the other two so you continue with the same trend to the end of the row she'll have a total of 15 stitches on that row a total of 15 stitches We're at the end of the row you tighten that hanging thread so it doesn't look unfinished look how beautiful that first row is you can see the spaces how wider they are compared to the other one so we are going to chain two and turn your work for this one you could chain three or chain two you can chain two or chain three whichever you want but personally I just chain two so you chain two going to that first stitch yarn over going to that first stitch pull through the first two and pull through the second yarn over pull through the first pull through the second yarn over pull through the first two pull through the second as easy as that so you continue the same trend yarn over pull through two pull through two yarn over pull through two pull through two that's how you do the double crochet stitch it might seem a bit similar to half double crochet but uh the loops are the loop numbers are different with the double crochet you pull through four and with the half double crochet you pull through three so you yarn over pull through that and pull through that <laughs> we're approaching the end of the row i told you when you see that bulging up there you make sure you go through that stitch because uh it's the 15th stitch of the row And you finish that row off with that so you chain to turn your work so we are going to continue with that for a total of 10 rows and then we'll come back and see i have my 10 rows right here very pretty look at that the spaces are much wider it's clearly a see-through so now we have three of the stitches 
we have the single crochet half double crochet and the double crochet for the single crochet you can see how small the stitches are much much neater and um you can barely see through them like i said this stitch is beginner friendly and uh, it's a technique that is very versatile personally i've mostly used it for dishcloths yeah the second one is a half double crochet you can see how wide the stitches are i'm sure i've seen this a couple of times in uh, the midst of the video but i just love how wide they are i love using this stitch for for flattery outfits like mesh uh, skirts bikini tops you know the see-through kind of, kinds of outfits just want to show your skin then there's this one now the double crochet stitch wider than the half double crochet much wider than the single crochet uh not uh, i wouldn't advise to speed up while using this stitch because it might make your project a little messy pulling through all the four loops can be quite the work so the three stitches three basic stitches beginner friendly if you're starting off crochet i show you that these are going to be your norm most projects you're going to construct are going to be based on these stitches so i hope this video was of help to any beginner out there and stay tuned i'll be making more videos on on how to sew in the raw edges and many more to do with crochet and fashion generally thank you